guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. And we are T-minus just a few hours away from 2023. And that is crazy to me. I just need a second to process that fact. When it feels like it is still 2020. What it what what is life? What is happening right now? We have made it through 2022 and what a year. Craziness. I am super excited to say that I will be participating in Holly and Oshina's readathon, the Read in the New Year readathon. I'm super excited about this. Uh, it is a week long readathon with seven prompts that are closely modeled after really popular New Year's resolutions. You don't have to fit every prompt, you can read as many books as you want, however few books you want to, you want to read, um, but it's just a lot of fun. There's bunch of different prompts it goes the whole week and I'm really excited because I have some books and I will just jump right into my read in the new year readathon TBR so here we go the first prompt is lose weight read a book that is 250 pages or less and for that I will be finishing up the cowgirl sacrifice by Tina Radcliffe I'm about halfway through and I don't remember why I stopped I don't know if I got caught up with a different book or what um but yeah I will be finishing this book the next prompt is eat healthy, read a book with food on the cover or that is a part of the story. And for that I'm going to be finishing Tacos for Two by Betsy St. Amant. This deals with, well, tacos <laughs> and a food truck and I'm really, really excited to uh, dive into this one again. The next prompt is drink more water, read a book with, a, with water on the cover or in the title. And for this I'm going to be reading Set the Stars Alight by Amanda Dykes. This also doubles as our January pick for our um, Christian book club and I'm really really excited. I love Amanda and I cannot wait to read this book. I guess I can hold on to this because prompt, fo prompt 4 is social media detox read a book set in the past or historical fiction and this book falls into that prompt. It is dual timeline um, but there is a historical part to it so yeah I will be using this. Prompt 5 is make a new friend and this is read a new to you author and I will finally be reading something by Nicole Deese. I can hear the applause. I know everyone is so excited uh, and truly, truly it's amazing. But I will finally be diving into Before I Called You Mine by Nicole Deese. I'm super, super excited for this and it's, it is about time. Prompt six is exercise more, read a book in a series. And I will be using A Cowgirl Sacrifice to double up on this prompt um, because this is a part of her Hearts of Oklahoma series that she did. It is about the final Rainbolt sibling and I'm super, super excited. So. And prompt seven is save money, read a book you didn't pay for. And honestly, all four of my books can fall into that category um, because I was sent them to um, review by the authors and the publishing companies. So I didn't have to pay for any of them. So yeah, those are the four books that are on my Read in the New Year Readathon TBR don't know what I'm doing. I forgot how to film, I guess. So, these are the books that I will be trying to tackle the first week of January. Wish me luck. We will see how it goes. But the fact that I have already started two of them hopefully will um, spur me on to keep going. And I'm sure this is, I know this is going to be amazing. I know this is going to be amazing just because everyone loves Nicole and I, I've heard nothing but amazing things about the book. Um, so yeah, those are the four books that I've chosen. Uh, I would love to hear your picks. I will leave the prompts in the description so you guys can see them. Please, please, please join in. Read in the new year with us. Super excited. Holly, Oshina, as always, you guys are crazy talented and I'm super excited to be participating this year and that's it. Happy New Year, guys! 2023 is going to be great. I feel it. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget you can check out my blog at For the Love of Christian Fiction. You can also check out my Instagram account at For the Love of Christian Fiction. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I will add that this is probably going to be my, like, January TBR video that goes up as well. 
that's all the books that I'm like telling like telling myself I have to read and giving myself the goal for um, but you'll find out in my wrap-up what else I read because I'm hoping to start the new year off strong so <laughs>